Unraveling, plow a lonely furrow, a deep dive into unique English expressions. Hello and welcome, everyone. Today, we're exploring the fascinating English phrase, plow a lonely furrow. This expression is rich in imagery and meaning, and it's a great example of how English can use vivid pictures to convey complex ideas. So, if you're ready to expand your understanding of English expressions, you're in the right place. Plow a lonely furrow comes from agricultural imagery. In farming, to plow means to turn over the earth with a plow, which is a large farming tool, preparing it for planting seeds. A furrow is a long, narrow trench made in the ground by a plow. This imagery is used metaphorically to talk about someone who is pursuing a course of action or a way of life that is different from others, often without support or companionship. The phrase likely originated from the solitary nature of plowing fields in agriculture, symbolizing hard work and determination. Over time, it has come to describe someone who boldly chooses a unique path, regardless of popular opinion or trends. It's used both to admire someone's independence and to highlight the isolation that can come with such choices. Let's see how this phrase can be used in sentences. Despite criticism, she decided to plow a lonely furrow by pursuing her innovative research. Choosing to plow a lonely furrow, he started a business that challenged the conventional models in the industry. These examples show how the phrase can be applied to various situations, emphasizing individuality and perseverance. Plow a lonely furrow is a beautiful example of how English uses imagery to express complex ideas of individualism, determination, and sometimes, isolation. Whether you're navigating your own unique path or simply appreciating the richness of the English language, this phrase offers a deep well of meaning to explore. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope this video has enriched your understanding and appreciation of English expressions. See you in the next video.